Okay, day two. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Firewatch gameplay. So I just finished the first day here. We're going on to the second day. And I am up. Oh, <laughs> I got my whiskey here that I stole. I am definitely up. I'm, I'm here. Oh, I'm supposed to actually answer it. Okay, so pick up the radio. Let's see what she wants to do. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, uh -oh. our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. So we are totally stuck here. Um, I should I be worried? Case. Can I go fix it? I guess we'll do that yeah. one. We've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, okay, so I guess I we're going on that. a little bit where of a hike. It? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yes. Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. I have to go we'll through do. the cave. Thanks, Hank. The cave was locked. Do you not remember that? <laughs> How am I supposed to get through it? All right, so I guess we should leave and go see what's going on with those phone lines. Now, she said it was by the cave that we've already been to. Which really isn't that far away, but, um, again, like I said, I couldn't get through it, so I'm assuming we've got to find the key or something, or maybe just break down the door. Okay, here is my outhouse, and I'm right over here through this trail should be the drop-down area. Uh, the sign on the ground, it's been moved. Okay, I did not move that over, I don't think, but, uh, yeah, let's just drop down here. Oh, don't hurt yourself, please! Oh, man, that's, that's a scary drop. Oh, there's Thoroughfare Hideout right there. Um, that's Delilah's Tower. I wonder if we could actually get over there and talk to her. I doubt we could. But, uh, it seems like we're going that way anyway, so maybe we can pay her a little visit as well. Cold morning fog. Should we report it? It's actually cold out here, sure. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Oh. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings oh. are cold in Boulder, though, right? Okay. Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? What did I get up to down there? Let's answer. Talk about Julia. Talk about your favorite bar. Let's talk about just Julia. Spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or. We're. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Yes. Uh, sure. I'm just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> hey, yo. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. Who's she talking to? No, I don't think he has any idea. Um, should I call out or should I listen? I'm absolutely sure. Okay, I didn't, wasn't able to answer. Shit. Would you? Who's All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Okay, I feel like I'm being left out on something here. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Uh, I don't even know. Ask about that call. I, should we? Yeah, I'm curious. Who was that? Who is who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What What was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting all jealous. Out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. I... Wow. She is definitely annoyed. I have pissed her off. Okay, so here is some telephone lines, so I'm gonna head up here. Again, I don't have my map, unfortunately. It just says, survey the communication lines north of the canyon. So, I don't know if this is like a glitch in my game, or if I'm supposed to pick up some sort of map, because it was working the last time when I did find that little map piece. Utility pole. Okay, I guess I should call in. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, so I guess I follow this wonderful little wire and see what's going on with it. Ooh, there's actually some housing out here as well. Uh, what, what do we got here? Beartooth Point, or Thoroughfare, um, fire lookout. So that's her lookout. I guess I'm gonna head over towards hers. I'm assuming if I follow this cord, it's gonna lead me up to her hideout. Okay, so it looks like, is that cord? Yeah, it looks like there's a broken cord there, but I also noticed this box over here, so we're gonna head up and get that box. 
Um, and I think I found the issue with the cord. Yeah, the wire's uh, down yeah, here. Okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Okay, time to go dan in inspect the damage. But first of all, I want to get this box if we can. Uh, I think it was right over here, wasn't it? Yep, there it is. Okay, let's see what's in 302. Uh, okay, I do remember the code. <laughs> it's not very hard to forget. Three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Bam. Let's open her up. Oh, yes, there we go. We got another map. Copy that information. Oh, hey, look, my map's back. That's great. Dave, hey -o. I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day, figured you'd be out near the canyon helping the grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know, amigos, professionals. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy, but I'm not great with that stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Uh, no idea what that was referring to, but okay, we're just going to hold that in case it's ever important. Looks like we got some logs in here, a bunch of different pine cones. You know what? Let's take a pine cone with us for good luck. Why not? Uh, I guess I gotta go figure out how to get up here now to inspect this thing. <gasps> Is that a turtle? Hold on. Oh, I didn't mean... Okay, yeah, I wanna pick this little guy up. Okay. <gasps> Oh my god, it is so cute! Come out of there, please! Oh my god, I- Alright, let's call it in. Poor turtle. Oh, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. <laughs> well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. <laughs> it is very cute! Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Okay, I am what definitely gonna adopt it? this thing. Looks like a, uh, Look at this mm. little turtle. Oh my god, oh, this ought to be so good. cute! Okay, I have never seen anything so cute in this game before. I think I'm squeezing it to death, but I don't even care, because it's just so damn cute to look at. Let's adopt this thing and see what happens. Did I... Where is it? Did I throw it in my backpack or something? Okay, but I looked over here. There wasn't really any way up, so I think I gotta go all the way around. So we're just gonna... I don't even know if I can... Oh, long drop down. You know what? Fuck it, we'll do it. Here we go. Oh. Okay, we're okay. So yeah, I think if I go up over here, just kind of follow the actual um, telephone lines, we should be good. Okay, it looks like there's something in my way, but uh, I'm noticing some pop cans here. Oh, beer cans. Yeah, let's pick that up. You know what? Let's um, report that in as well. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, the thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. These fucking kids, I fully agree. Let's reply to that. What, why, why, why do you, you think, think they'd, they'd be up, up here? here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. They probably cut it off. These, these, these chicks want me dead. Guaranteed they're the ones that cut the line. Oh yeah, there's... Look at Some more right here? What does this say? Oh, shit. Okay, end of the wire, inspect. I should not be... I, I, okay, I would not be randomly picking up a wire off the ground. But clearly, that was cut, and it says go to hell. Eight. Report okay, the cut so the wire. The wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Yep. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they oh my realize God. this is how people die? Whoa! I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Find the teens. I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make yes. a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um. Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. Sh should I get oh, a bear? God. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Okay. Well, but how do I get Red Eagle. up the long drop? Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. 
Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. That is definitely yeah, a pickle. I just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Okay, but how do I get there when I'm trapped down here? Oh, that's a good sign. I keep seeing beer cans on this trail. Look, another one coming up right here. These guys are just downing them. <laughs> that's like 10 steps and another beer's gone. Okay, but I think we're on the right track here. I'm feeling good about it. What's over here? Ooh. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Block trail. Should I call in? Port I've overgrown got an trail. Overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> I guess I can't go that way yet. Okay, I'm just going to follow the valley here and uh, see where this can take me. Long drop down again. Looks like we can go left or right from here as well. Okay, so... Oh, well, we got some signs here. We got two forks left. Um, Jonesy Lake. Okay, so they said... I, she mentioned I should go to the lake. I'm just curious, the supply drops over here, and uh, the fire lookout. So yeah, I'm going to head towards the lake down here. Okay, just got to pass this, and oh. Well, that's a good sign. We have a hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. All right, can I somehow grab this? Oh, yeah, there we go. I whacked it off. Let's see what's in here. Is there anything good? We got a camera that I took a picture of myself for. And some climbing rope. Good. Well, Very good. I flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Okay. Can you tell me who he is? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. How the hell do I get down? I can't... Through the summer. Okay, well, we have to climb up? Is that what we're supposed to do here? Wait, I wasn't listening. Um, did you keep you in touch? keep in touch? You and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman going to do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Okay, I think have, I'm seriously uh, stuck down here. Camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh, I'm officially an idiot. There is an actual rope tie spot down here <laughs> that we have to attach to as well. No wonder why I was stuck right here. Okay, but at least I know how to get down now. It seems like we're in the right direction, and we get to go check out what's in that crate as well. Man, they just have these crates everywhere, don't they? I can't wait to see what's inside this time. One, two, three, four. There we go. And drop the lock again. I just keep dropping these locks. <laughs> okay. We got another map, but it's not really helping because we have the map. But when I zoom in, like, hold on. Let me just show you guys. So I can see the map here, which is great. But when I zoom in, it all goes all black. And I've I got to assume it's not meaning to do this. I mean, this is just confusing for me. So yeah, the map is pretty much pointless right now. We got another note here as well. What else have we got in here? Fossilized claw. Um, yeah, let's just report uh, that. Someone why don't we found a fossil and put it in a cash box. That is a nice claw. Oh really? <laughs> she's she's so interested. Well, I guess we can't hold this one, so let's just get rid of the fossilized claw. Goodbye, fossilized cloth. We got a loose stone. That's great. I always wanted one of those. Let's get rid of that as well. Is there anything else? No, we just have this note. Okay, I should probably read this. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just uh, contact her about this note. Report the note between Ron and Dave. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. 
Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to end this one here. We got Jonesy Lake uh, 1.7 miles away. I got to assume they'll be around there, but uh, we're going to have to find out in the next episode. Um, just so you know, this is the beta version of the game, and we only get access to the end of today. So there's probably only going to be one more episode, and then when the game releases on the 9th, we will continue where we left off. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.